Dyson has given the humble hairdryer a makeover. It's called the Dyson Supersonic. Let's take a look. So this uses Dyson's air multiplier technology. You can see the design is a little bit different to that of a traditional hairdryer. And that's because Dyson's taken a lot of the components that would be in the head part up here and moved them down to the handle. So all the air gets pushed out of this thin gap around the front. And I have to say that this thing really does push a lot of air around. The other thing that's really quite remarkable is that this thing's pretty quiet. Now, often when you're using a hairdryer, you can't talk to anyone else in the room or even really hear yourself think. But if I turn this on, you should be able to just about hear me. It's not too loud. It's customizable too. There are magnetic attachments that snap onto the front, including a smoothing nozzle, which does gentle drying, and a diffuser as well, which broadly disperses the air through your hair. Controls are pretty simple. This button on the left controls how much air is getting pushed through, while this one on the right, you tap it to cycle through levels of heat. Down here, there's a cold shot button too, in case you want a blast of cold air. Casey, you've just dried your hair using the uh, Supersonic. How did you find it? Well, I think compared to my normal hairdryer, it was a lot more powerful. I mean, I did need to have it up to full power and on the full heat settings. I really enjoyed the experience and my hair feels much more like I've just come out of the hairdressers rather than I've just dried it myself at home. Actually, when I removed both of the nozzles um, that I was using at various points while drying it, um, I actually felt that the blast was a lot more powerful. Um, and if I'd probably used that the whole way through, it would have probably been quicker. So, are there any downsides? Well, this thing is actually quite expensive. When it comes out in the UK in June, it's going to cost £299. It's coming out in the US in September, when it's going to cost $399. That's quite a lot more expensive than even the most luxurious hair dryers out there, but wait until the full review where we'll find out if it's worth the money.